What's going on guys, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today I'm going to show you how to do this looping visual. So I know I haven't been really doing tutorials in After Effects, so I thought it might be fun to expand a little bit on this. So I did this class for uh, a minor on Fontas University of Applied Sciences. I gave like a, a guest course there. Uh, so I thought it might be fun to show it to you um, and show you how I made it. Um, okay, so this requires a little bit of basic um, knowledge of After Effects, but it's pretty simple to do it when you follow the steps. And let's just get into it. So firstly, we're going to make a new composition. And we're going to make that 2500 pixels by 2500 pixels. And I'll explain it to you later in the video why it, why it is like this. Uh, let's just name the composition Photo Tunnel. And let's just import this picture uh, that I found on Unsplash. The link for that will be in the description. And the first thing we want to do is uh, we want to have the anchor point here in the middle of the mouth. So let's just click on A on our keyboard and move the anchor point so that the middle of the mouth is where the center of the anchor point is. Like this. Uh, the first thing we want to do now is mask the mouth out. Um, so let's just zoom in a little bit here and grab our pen tool and start masking it out. Okay, so now we start uh, finishing up the mask. You'll see that we'll only have the hole in the mouth mask, so uh, we want the opposite. Let's just click on the little button here and check inverted. And this will invert the mask. And now if we click into the mask menu again, uh, let's just feather it so the uh, mask will be a little bit softened. And what I also like to do is expand it a little bit inward. So uh, I think around minus 10 pixels, maybe just to have that little shadow inside the mouth. It's a bit easier uh, when you're doing the animation. So, right, so now that we have this, uh, let's just go into fitting screen again. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is make a few copies and put them into 3D space. So let's just call, rename this to photo one. So we can keep track of what photo, which photo is which. Uh, and let's just copy it six times. Okay, the first thing we want to do is select all of these and check this box here, which creates a 3D object of them. And now we're going to just move all of these backwards into the Z axis. So if we click on position, uh, we're going to do 2500 for this one and then we're going to do 2500 for the next one and so on so this will be 5000 this one will be 7500 this one will be 10,000 and this one will be 12,500 And now you can start seeing a little uh, loop here. By the way, guys, if you can't see the transpar uh, if you can't see the transparency grid, uh, just check this box here. So, uh, what we're gonna do now is we want to create a um, camera and a camera object that will travel through the mouth of this. So let's go to layer, new, camera, and leave it as it is. And we're gonna create a null object as well called camera control and we're going to use a pick whip here and link it to our null object let's just call this camera control first so we need to make this into a 3d object as well so let's just check this box click the stopwatch on the position go all the way to 10 seconds and move this I think 10,000 pixels yeah so let's just a little preview of the animation that we just did and as you can see when the loop ends there's uh, still one mouth missing we're gonna fix that in, uh, in a few seconds don't worry um, so the first thing I want to do is actually make this composition four seconds long so let's just go to the four second mark move this keyframe here and just make sure to uh, make it also four seconds in the composition settings. And this just makes the animation go a little bit faster, as you can see. 
All right. So uh, the next thing we want to do is create that little fade that makes it look infinite. So the way I did that is just simply through transparency. So what I did is I always want to make two or three, a maximum of three mouths visible at one point in this animation. And I'm going to show you that with our uh, finished result real quick. As you can see here, as I go to the first mouth, the third mouth becomes visible. And once like the mouth that the camera goes through uh, is not visible anymore in camera, a new one starts to fade in. So what this means is let's just go to the invisibility tab on photo four or five and six and just create it, uh, put it to zero. And with photo three here, uh, let's just also put it to zero, but create a keyframe animation where in the first second, this will fade in from 0% to 100%. So like this. And with the transparency panel on, it looks a bit odd. If we remove that, it looks a bit better. So we're gonna do the same thing with all the other ones here. So let's just get a keyframe here, go to the two second mark and make it 100 here and create a uh, keyframe for photo five, go to the three second mark, have it fade in here. Oops, you can see that this is 98%. Let's just make it 100. And do the same thing with photo six. Okay. And now you can see with the transparency check uh, turned off, it's actually fading in and it looks a bit more uh, seamless. So what I want to do now is just rotate these uh, 90 degrees uh, off from each other. So let's go to the rotation tabs here and put the Z rotation to uh, 90 degree increments. So 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270, 360 degrees and 360 degrees plus 90 degrees. All right, so now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a new composition with actual um, normal size uh, HD format. So 1920 pixels by 1080. And let's just call this finished comp or something. And now we can drag in uh, photo tunnel. So as you can see, I had some examples already. So uh, I just renamed mine uh, for the sake of this tutorial that we're gonna use this one, the correct one. Okay, now what we're gonna do is go to the rotation tab and have it rotate one uh, circle or 360 degrees in four seconds, which will create like a rotation loop. And if we zoom out a little bit, you can see that the uh, edges here uh, aren't touching. Um, and if this would be uh, a composition of 1920 by 1080, this would happen. You would see like the black backgrounds here. It still looks really trippy, but it's not what we want. So let's just resize it. All right. So I have this uh, noise overlay and it's uh, available in the Dreadlabs web shop uh, soon. But for now, you can just get a free copy for the, st for the sake of this tutorial in the description. Um, so I'm just gonna go and drag it in here and drag it to the top. And we're gonna put the mode to overlay. So the transparency of this composition messes up the background here. So the only thing we need to do is go to layer, new, solid, and create a black solid. And put it to the background here and now you're good to go. So now it's a little bit more grainy. Let's just zoom in a bit, that you can see it better. And lastly, I wanna add a adjustment layer here. The noise has to be on top and then underneath that, you, you, need, you have the adjustment layer. And we'll go to effects and presets and we'll add a vignette. Make it a little bit darker on the edges. And lastly, a wiggle position. And have the speed to, I don't know, 20 wiggles a second and I think five uh, uh, pixels, I guess. And then let's just put all of these to motion blur. 
and this will get that subtle, uh, give you that subtle camera shake. So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, I just want to thank my patrons for making all of this possible, making me be able to make more tutorials, more co content for you guys. Um, and as a patron, you get a 15% discount in the web shop, as well as access to all the project files of all my tutorials. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, so please consider becoming a patron. You can get, uh, you can become one through the link in the description. And if you have any suggestions for new tutorials or new content, please let me know in the comments or join us on Discord. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.